Shut up. Shut up. Mind your own business. Mind your own fucking business. guys so we all we have here is a bunch of uh military personnel leaving for the day and uh this guy's over here yelling at us to get out of the street and whatnot Police pulling up on us, guys. Here we go. Cowards are mad because we're trying to defend our freedom and they're trying to suppress our rights by sending the police out here to tell us what to do. So here we go. They got no jurisdiction out here, bro. We're already on the public. They have no jurisdiction on the public. If they want us to get out of the street, they can need to call the police. But we also, um, if there's no pedestrian walkway, we got we could be legally in the street five feet away from the curb. Just to let you know. Another Here comes one. another one. All right, guys. So we got the MPs on site now. Alright guys, so it looks like the naval police are going to respect the rights out here as the the coward guard inside the booth, which is also a naval police, called for backup and the backup shut them down. They didn't even come out to talk to us. So there it is guys, this is proof that what we do out here does make a difference. Uh, everybody's work is being proven to make a difference here guys. Dude, she keeps telling him not to look at her.
<laughs> what happened, crybaby? What happened, you bully crybaby? Push across, huh? We could get a better angle of it. Shut the f up, stupid. Well, he's got to try to fucking be barking orders, you fucking crybaby. Mind your own business. You fucking whiny little baby. Why don't you give instructions to somebody in there, you fucking coward? You don't got jurisdiction out here. So fuck off. All of you. Alright, so here at Point Wainimi Naval Base, they want to act like little whiny cry babies. And try to give unnecessary directives. They don't even have jurisdiction out here in the public. The crybaby in the booth is going to handle whatever happens out here. Don't worry. You guys can go back to work. He's good at giving directives. Apparently nobody listens to him. Not even you guys. Not even you guys listen to his coward call for a photographer standing out here in the street. <laughs> you guys look ridiculous. doing for what? Not that I care, but... Yeah. I don't think we have to answer any questions, right? Are nope, we breaking nope, the law? Nope. stay out of traffic. That's our big concern. <clears throat> we already got a bunch of... Uh, the blue line. We have a bunch of uh, thug gang members over there with weapons already yeah. watching us, just man. Don't, just don't cross the blue line because that makes it military proper. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, good enough. Yeah, I'm as sorry. As long as you're out of traffic, we're good. Yeah, thank All you, right. sir. All right. Number? Nope. Interesting. Good. You guys uh, are actually public servants, right? You work for yeah. the public? Yeah. What's your name and badge number, sir? Sergeant Graham. And your badge number, sir? I don't have a badge number. You don't have an ID number? 14. 14. And you, sir? 66 and it's happy. Thank you, sir. Right. Appreciate we've you guys. You guys before, so we know about the amendment stuff. Yeah. yeah. We're good. Right. I appreciate right. that. So, Thank so, you guys. So Thank you guys for things. respecting our rights. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. All our main concern was you guys united with the traffic. So yeah. Good? good to go. Yeah, we're staying out of the way, man. Okay. We learned that a long time ago. She's my monis. <laughs> so where were we? <laughs> hey, Verga Head. Stop making false 911 calls. You're wasting the police time. You're wasting taxpayers' money. Verguita head, go back to work now. <laughs> he can't get, <laughs> he can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> they locked them out. Dang, that's bad. Yeah, they locking it down because of us? Putting chains on it and everything. Look at that. No incoming or oncoming, bro. They're done. They claim that uh, everybody's in and out already. Must be some type of deadline, huh? Yeah. They're locking it down. The paranoia. 
boy is real here, everyone. Look at that. No one else enters or goes, huh? Uh -huh. I feel so for the guy that pulls up right now. There it is, guys. Public education at its best. We even have to uh, educate our own uh, military. Unfortunately, they are very uneducated to the point where they have to call the police for a couple of photographers out here um, being law-abiding and not breaking the law. They still want to call the police and send them out here to try to bully us away. Luckily, good enough for Port Hunimi police. They were uh, very respectful, very good today. So we're gonna give them that uh, thumbs up. And uh, they definitely say, we know what you guys are doing. It's about the First Amendment. And that's what matters. As long as they know and they're respecting people's right to film, this might be one of those places that you don't have to visit too often. So, uh, there it is. You guys ready? You bunch of wusses. You guys are a bunch of wusses calling the police. Calling the police on a photographer. What's wrong with you guys? I thought you guys were military. Apparently not. Uh, apparently you guys are just a bunch of whiny, crying babies that call the police. And the police were already here. <laughs> oh, man. This is our military. Street across, huh? This is our military. Yeah. Scared little crybabies. Especially that one right there. That's the one. That's the worst crybaby of them all that needs to be educated on public photography. Yeah. That one right there. Yeah. That little crybaby. Sad little man. Sad little guy. Calling the cops on a couple of photographers. Later, chicken shit. <laughs>